Hi everybody, it's Diana from It's Only Makeup and I'm back with this week's makeup basket. I pulled a few items out of my collection to use. I used them today for this look. This is the look that I wore to church today. And as I said in my previous week's video, I'm going to pull out fewer items. I find that if I pull out a lot of stuff, it just gets to be unmanageable and I don't end up using them all. I've made the selection smaller, so I should be able to use more of the products during the week. Starting first with foundation. I picked out two foundations that I'll use this week. And the first one is going to be the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. Looks like that. And I'm also going to use Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation as well. Starting with the eyeshadows, I pulled out an oldie but goodie. This is the Max Sharon Osborne Duchess Quad from the Sharon Osborne collection. It's got some fantastic neutrals and you know how I love my neutrals. I used this warm color right here. It's a soft brown sort of color. I used that all over my lid today. I love it because it's just the perfect brown. I also pulled this older quad out from MAC. This is called Call Me Bubbles. It's from an old collection. It's got some great colors. It's spring now and it's got some orange and some peachy pinks in there. And I thought that would be great for this week. I also pulled out the Re -re the Max Riri Wu Her Cocoa Palette. This palette came out a few months ago with the Riri Wu collection. It's the one that has the rose gold packaging. And then last but not least, I'm going to go back to this MAC palette, or this call, it's called the MAC Look in a Box Face Kit. And this one is in All About Beige. Thought this would be appropriate to use as well. It's got some dark colors in here. I really like this black and this deep brown, just in case I wanted to do a smoky eye. Thought that would give me a great range of colors to work with. For my blushes for this week, I'm gonna stick with my three NARS blushes. This first one is perfect for spring. It's an orangey, sort of pinky kind of color, sort of a coral color. It's called Liberté. My next NARS blush is called Al Almeria. This is a limited edition collection during the 2014 holiday season. And of course, my absolute favorite NARS blush is Dolce Vita. So I'll be mixing these, I'll be switching back and forth uh, between these three beautiful NARS blushes. And if you are a fan of NARS, you know there is nothing like a NARS blush. They are amazing. Moving on to the lips. I picked up a couple of the Sephora brand lip colors. And these are the Luster Matte Long Wear Lip Colors. I can't read the names on the bottom, but it's this really hot fuchsia pink and sort of this muted berry color. I'll swatch the two of them so you can see them. They're very beautiful colors. I'll probably mix them as well. You know how much I love mixing lip colors. But these were beautiful. They dry down to a wonderful matte color and I love matte colors. But this is these two colors. And those are the Sephora Long Lasting Lip Creams. I'm also gonna use my two NARS or Audacious lipsticks in the color Raquel and the color Olivia. I'll swatch these two. This deep brick red color is Raquel. This nudie beige pink, it's showing more pink in the viewfinder, but it's more beige, is Olivia. I'm also gonna use my NARS Matte Velvet Lip Pencil in the color Red Square. This is a beautiful color. Reminds me of Max Lady Danger, and it's this color right here. It's just a nice, vibrant 
red orange it's showing up a lot more orange than it actually is but it's a nice red orange and I love again that it's matte and my next item is this beautiful Chanel luster lip something uh, and I posted on my Instagram so you'll see the name and I'll also list it below and I'll put it somewhere here in the description or somewhere here in the frame so you'll see the name but the name of this is called intense beige and I love this it doesn't look beige at all. It's more of a muted uh, sort of berry kind of color, but it's a beautiful, it's right here. It's this beautiful, um, I guess it's almost like a muted purple or something, but I love that color. But those are the lip colors that I'll be working with this week. I'll probably be mixing and matching those around. And that's all that I have for my makeup basket. I'm looking forward to doing some great, great looks this week. I'm gonna try to stay out of my neutral makeup pit. I love the neutrals. It's so hard for me to get away from them. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna try to get out of that neutral makeup funk this week and we'll see what happens. I'm encouraged because it's spring, the weather is changing, it's getting a little bit cool. Where I am, it's normally very warm. And hopefully that will help to uh, inspire me to do some bright, bright looks. I wanna thank you so much for watching my channel. If you're a new subscriber, thank you for subscribing. If you're just, uh, just dropped in, hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions about my channel or about this video, list them in the comments below. I always respond to any of the comments. If you are a current subscriber, thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate that. If there are any other types of videos that you'd like to see me do, please also list those in the comments and I'll record those videos for you because you're watching the channel and I want to make sure that it's something that you like to see as well. Again, thank you uh, for stopping by, saying hello. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to share my video. Share my video. Share my video. <laughs> Please share my video with all of your friends so they can stop by and pick up some makeup tips as well. If you have any questions again, please list them below. And until the next video, stay pretty.